Hi, so this tutorial is going to be going over the digital certificate, a couple frequently asked questions about the digital certificate, and the difference between the digital certificate and a notary certificate. So if you come into your manage section, you'll see that you can upload your own notary certificates as well as your own digital certificates. You're also able to download both of these from Blue Notary and use them elsewhere. The main difference between these is that the notary certificate consists of the notarial wording that is specific to your state, such as the notarial wording for an acknowledgement, the notarial wording for a jurat, whereas the digital certificate is a document that is encrypted inside of the document that is exported from Blue Notary. So in this case, it's encrypted inside the PDF that is exported from any online notarization platform. So if you do download the digital certificate from Blue Notary and you try to open it, you're not gonna be able to open it because it's gonna require special software for it to open as it is an encryption file. It's not like a normal Word file or PDF file or anything like that. So it needs special software like Blue Notary software in order for it to be used to encrypt inside other documents, in this case, PDFs. So I wanna give you a short example of that and the differences between them. So I'm gonna hop over here into our session simulator. Here we are got our lovely assistant and I've just got a blank page here. So I'm going to come and drop my e-seal down. So there you are. You've got your e-seal down. It's going to be necessary for, you know, any notarization session that does take place. Now you also are going to need notarial wording. It might come included in your document, but in the case that it's not, you are going to need to input it yourself and it's going to be state specific. So it's going to vary from state to state as to what your notarial certificates look like, what your notarial wording says, but it's going to look something like this. Now, this is the notary certificate. This is not the digital certificate. And you might be wondering, how do I encrypt the digital certificate itself? The way that you encrypt the digital certificate itself is you do nothing because the Blue Notary software is going to automatically encrypt the digital certificate for you as soon as you export the document. So. All you have to do is come up to menu and click complete session. And that digital certificate is going to be encrypted inside the document that you've just exported. It will be a PDF. We've got a couple more videos to go a bit more in depth into the digital certificate and sample files. So one of these is going to be how you can view a digital certificate using Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. And another one is going to be how you can output a sample file that includes your digital signature, your e-seal and digital certificate all in one. Often this is required to submit to your state, but it's going to depend state to state. So main takeaways from this video is that the digital certificate is not something that's going to be able to be opened on your computer, like a normal file, like a word file or a PDF file. It requires special software in order for it to be used to be encrypted inside of another document, like a PDF. And the other takeaway is that that digital certificate is going to be automatically encrypted inside each PDF that is exported from a session. So you're not going to need to manually attach this or manually encrypt this. The Blue Notary software is going to automatically encrypt that for you. So please feel free to follow along, like, and subscribe if you're interested in any more online notarization information. We've got plenty more on the way.